Yo, welcome back guys to another video. Today we're going to be doing Rogue Mage and I'm playing with a mage that has 200k HP. So basically no gear at all. And we're facing Stun God this game, which is uh, me and another rogue. I was helping him get 1800 real quick. So this is my second game on, like playing with a, uh, you know, PvP on my rogue. So this was Deco and we have Stun God. He pre-fears me out, very salty about that one. Not a big deal though. I end up pre-cloaking him just in case he tries to do a sketchy play here. And like usual... The god among men, I say, not today, bitch. Not today. I shadow we dome. Uh, I tried to pre-shadowy do with swap, but obviously I'm not good enough to do that yet. I end up getting his trinket with my blind, which is exactly what I wanted in every situation. Now, I knew I wasn't going to be able to kill this guy without my trinket. So without my badge trinket, I do no damage. It's just, it's crazy how sometimes I'll do unhealable fucking damage. And the other time, I will do legit no damn. I swear, 90% of the games I have done today have just been, I haven't been able to kill anything. Like, I like I faced a, I actually counted. I have it on a row. I, we faced 10 DHs in a row, and then we faced a weir, and then 5 more DHs. That's all we face is DHs. And then the occasional demo lock and DK. And then warrior, obviously. But holy shit, I have never played at such a low CR in my entire life and had absolutely gotten salty enough to bash my computer into this fucking like i almost oh man this new this new uh i'm, I'm, I'm just saying I, i'm gonna hulk smash this bitch in a second i got so mad because i'm telling you these guys were backpedaling in my face and i i couldn't do anything about it they were just sitting there being able to one shot me and meanwhile when i pop every cd and they have nothing they don't die so here i just try to pressure him because if i don't pressure him at this point he's not gonna die this is everything i got and we basically take him out. Now having gouge is actually super. It actually comes in handy. I end up getting a sneaky restart here. So thankfully we got that. And I end up having 50 seconds worth of fucking bleeds on me. So that's nice. So this guy tries to do a tricky play. He wastes his alter time on a. This was dumb because I already had bleeds on me. So I can't even get a restart. Very bad mistake by him. Because he wasted alter time for, for no reason. Yes it did switch him back. But I already had bleeds on me. So it didn't matter. So that was pretty useless of an altar. So now he doesn't have altar off his block. And even if he does, it's pretty much GG because he doesn't even have another block. So he basically wasted altar for no reason because he doesn't even have a second block because he wasted it to peel. At this point, we have vanish. We can just get an open. Basically vanish after we open, get our cool blood and echo back. And it's pretty much just GG. So we open here, get a solid go. He tries to do the good old fashioned vanish. We end up vanishing and basically taking him out. We end up absolutely farming him and GG no resituation. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, my guy has zero gear. I mean, he has some PVE gear on, but whatever 200k HP is in, a, like, in arena. So I don't even know how much he has out of it. But yeah, I'm telling you, this had to be the most frustrating Q session I've ever done in any type of twos in any bracket of any expansion. This has to be the worst expansion, start to an expansion I have ever played of all time. It's it's just it's at a point to where I've never played anything this bad in my life. Or especially as a rogue. Like, it's just crazy. I love facing DHs 20 times in a row. That can just every time a meta class that can click one two is a meta, it the game's always bad. So that's just that's just my, you know personally. I'm gonna say personally, because I know you guys are gonna get butt hurt. But I have a lot of more clips of these, and if you guys want, I'll make a video on how me losing, and I will show you guys exactly what I mean by I actually cannot kill anything. Like when it looks like I'm killing people, these guys are the definition of um playing at low CR. Like these guys are like 1300. I've never played. I never had to play the CR even with carrying. I usually end up at like 1800 MMR. I could not win more than two games in a row. It just wasn't possible. I would just get Metacomps, DK Healer, DH Healer, Assassination Healer, Lock Healer. And they were actually good. Like, they weren't terrible. Like, some of these guys were, like, X Glide Eaters at 1200 ZR. Like, I never had to play at a, such a low CR. And now I know why Peekaboo and everyone else that's doing carries right now is, like, having a hard time at, like, fucking 1400. It's an actual joke. I am surprised that they have not fixed this yet. And it's it's getting to the point where I'm... Well, thankfully, I have my physical therapy coming up the 4th, so I don't know how much I'm going to be playing, so hopefully by then they fix it. Look at my H my mage's HP right now. Goodbye, sir. GG. So he gets kicked in the face for 180k, as he says right there. 
he does have 200k do be fair and the windwalker is running one shot macro so it is what it is at this point just remember you can never kill a monk with a cheap shot go so i tried doing some jank shit which i shouldn't have done i should have just shadowy dueled the problem is if i don't kill him here and he ends up getting a wall and karma off he's gonna live and I, I, it's gg because lock and perma cc me with coil and double stun so i ended up sapping the uh monk and basically uh, blinding the blinding the warlock and then opening on the pet and hoping i can get combo points to enough to kinney and then kinney and then open uh, it almost uh ended up not being good but uh ended up not being bad so here i wanted to open but i was like yo if i don't kill him here i am absolutely like i'm fucked i'm just gg'd so he ends up stunning me here and i end up getting 150 in about two seconds i almost actually died in a dr stun right there by no cooldowns at all just by the warlocks like spin and the, it was just dumb i finally was able to kill somebody and he almost ends up surviving thankfully he ends up you know dying but um yeah i'm just i i, I think i think everyone can agree this is the worst start to an expansion i have played myself now if you're playing like with like with rank one or actual like if you're playing 2v2 with a good comp and a meta comp right now and you actually know what you're doing it's not that bad but it's enough to still piss you off like you'll get pissed off really quick because you're gonna you're gonna be like having a hard time versus people that are max xp like 1600 and since the game allows you to click one two and basically do whatever anyone else can it's basically kind of a joke now yeah i don't know for me it's like i'm actually just flamed like this is right after playing these games too and i've actually i've just never ever in my life of playing wow have been this desperate to try to quit so thankfully i do have something coming up to where i'm probably gonna take a big break and i'm really hoping that they do fix the shit because this is just it's just way too garbage i i just i honestly just it would just be nice if they would like reverse exp the expansion and bring back so bring back so to like season two of sl and just put it to where like i'm fine with like dh and warlocks being like op as fuck but like when you're having a meta of every single class and you're giving you're giving people options to click one two and absolutely farm every other class it's just i don't know it just feels dumb i i just don't like it it's very boring if, if you're gonna make every class op stop trying to make everyone do a consistent damage they're trying to make sub rogue into a consistent damage burst class and you can't do that sub needs to be like mm no actually mm they did the same thing with sub they try to make a burst class into a non-skill click one two and do consistent damage and it's stupid i think it's very dumb classes that are meant to be doing burst damage put it to where only on your blades you're doing big dam or either if you're gonna give them consistent damage just give them consistent damage stop like going around the bush you know beating around it and giving us tiny fucking 12k eviscerates on non-blades goes it's fucking stupid I think I I honestly think this guy bubbles a DR set by the way when the guy's at eighty percent. This is what I'm playing against right here, and I'm almost able to lose. Like I'm almost able to lose. I almost end up losing this, and it was crazy because this is on every button I have. This is this right here is every single button I have, and he he lives. Like look at this. This is fucking crazy. Like how is this possible? Like he lives here. How is that? I, I don't understand. In what world does he live? If, imagine if a, an MM or a DH or any single class right now clicks their burst damage. That guy would be dead in three seconds. It'd be physically impossible for him to survive. Yeah, I'm a sub rogue. I get every. It's like you don't get any satisfaction out of playing sub. Not anymore. You you used to get satisfaction out playing people, and then you know if you outplay somebody and you click every cooldown and they don't have any cooldowns, you end up killing them. But it's I, for some reason they now it's an RNG kill, so it's not about skill. It's not about any of that. It's just about playing the certain class and getting RNG on your side. That's it. There, there's no more skill to World of Warcraft right now. I mean that that was left out the door as soon as Shadowlands ended. So like they, in season two, they had a chance at being decent because like if you did fuck up and you click the cooldown for no reason, you could end up just dying to like full burst. But now it's like if you click every if you click every single button, you still have a chance to just one shot the other target. So to me, like I said, it's just it's just fucking stupid. And um yeah, I would advise you guys 
I mean, shit, shit, I would say play Assassin, but dude, Assassination is so fucking boring. You sit there and you get your bleeds dispelled 24-7, and then when you do get a good setup, it's like, unless you're clicking every button, you just don't feel satisfaction and damage. Like, the only time you feel good is if you're on a DH or a Fury Warrior, when you can legit just consistently stay, stick on a target and make them never heal. And then same thing on healing-wise. Unless you're playing a Evoker or Rusted Druid, you're not having fun. Quote unquote, the reason why solo queue is 40 minutes long. I don't even know how people are 2,500. Like, you legit have to have no life if you're 2,500. Like, you legit have to sit there all day in a queue sesh. Like, I, I've tried to queue twice games in a row. I've sat in a queue and then they just leave. So, out of 10 games I've played for the last 10 games, they've always left. And the, the games that I actually do, like, I've, I played two games in the last week because those are the only ones that people don't leave. And I gained zero points for three wins at 1,900 fucking CR. So now there's a problem with not getting any rating. To me, it's just fucking stupid. I, this is all I can say about it. But uh, basically, I'm just talking while the gameplay's going, because obviously there's, I'm not going to explain a fucking 1,400 game. Like, this is a joke that I have to be forced to play at 1,400 because a fucking guy can backpedal and laugh at me in the face. So I wanted my guy to ring here, but obviously um, he was a little sketched out. Now this is this is a cooled finger here, so this is where I just I just clicked everything and I was like fuck it. I really didn't give a shit if I lost or not. I ended up not getting any energy and I ended up killing him here. I ended up just full sending his ass. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. But other than that, peace, peace.